What's up, people? Today, I want to come to you really, really, really quick. And it's about breach of fiduciary duty. It's going to be quick, going to be simple. And I want you to understand this is something that is very important. Simply because when you're looking to hold them accountable, this is how you do it. The elements of a breach of fiduciary duty claim is, one, a fiduciary relationship must exist between the plaintiff and defendant. Now, when you're talking about the scope of a police officer and yourself, their oath of office is the existence of a fiduciary duty. Now, keep in mind that it's different from a service, such as executing a restraining order. They do not have to do that, but they do have to work towards your benefit as a public trust. Two, the defendant must breach that duty, meaning they must violate your rights in some form. It can be as simple as saying, hey, stop, go over here, sit down. And the reason for the stop was no crime or they did not articulate a crime because what happens then is when they're given instructions without the presence of a crime, they are breaching their fiduciary duty because it's called a Fourth Amendment show of authority stop. Three, the breach must cause some sort of injury to you. And what that means is if there is a stop, like I just said, it's more of an inconvenience for most people, but the stop itself has nothing to do with the crime, they do not articulate, or they're putting you in handcuffs, they're throwing you to the ground, or they're doing something outside the scope of their duties. An injury does not have to be a physical injury. How do we go about holding them accountable? First, demonstrate that there existed a formal relationship that could arise for those duties. And how do you show that? their signed and filed oath of office. Two, demonstrate that the fiduciary duty existed. You do that by getting the police report because there is an encounter. You get all the information that is necessary to show that there was an encounter. And this is why it's great to film the police. You have instances of Turner v. Driver which I'll go deeper into. You also have um, Fields versus the city of Philadelphia. It's another one that I'll go further into, but these are just a couple of aspects in which you can use along with the police report or police video or anything that shows that there was a contact, there was a duty that was being performed at a certain time. Three, demonstrate that duty had been breached. The easy is a lot of times there'll be a discrepancy in their report or an inaccuracy that can be shown through video, through actual actions that are done um, by the officer or that are written by the officer. This is where um, you guys that write writs and affidavits, this is where those come into play. Once you get them signed under penalty of perjury and you have access or you gain the the public information of the police report because it does contain your information and it gives you a right to it. And lastly, demonstrate that breach caused you to suffer a loss. That can be the loss of liberty, the loss of locomotion, that could be the loss of even physical injury. And again, these can be simple things such as being placed in handcuffs, thrown onto a car. They can actually be saying, hey, stop, go over there and sit down. Because again, show of authority stops are more common than not because most people don't understand that this is a Fourth Amendment violation if there is not a crime. So again, they like to use words, oh, you're being suspicious, or I have reasonable suspicion. And they forget about the last part of that statute or ordinance or whatever and it becomes reasonable suspicion of a crime so if absent of that they have no reason to stop you and if that is done
that is a breach of their fiduciary duty. So understanding those aspects allows you to be able to hold them accountable when you are in federal court. So to keep that in mind, breach of fiduciary duty, these are the grounds, these are the things that you need to use to hold them accountable for it. And until next time.